Good evening and welcome to King's Kids, a nightly bedtime story just for you. I'm Mr. Leeds, head of the children's ministry here at Mainland Baptist Church, and tonight's story is about the creation of Adam and Eve, and I hope you enjoy it. In the beginning, there was absolutely nothing to see. No earth, no stars, no animals, no light. There was only God. God then decided to create a beautiful world to display His goodness and splendor. He just spoke the words, and it came to be. Vast craggy mountains, soaring beautiful trees, crystal lakes and winding rivers, animals of every variety. He placed a massive sun in the sky, warming the earth during the day, and a moon to lighten the night. It was a breathtakingly beautiful creation. But God was getting ready for his greatest act yet, making man. He planned to make man special, not like the animals, but more in the image of God himself. So he took a bit of clay from the earth and formed man and breathed life into him. There was man, created in the image of God, and God called him Adam. God made Adam like himself, with a mind, with creativity, with wonder, with emotions, and he made him to be happy. Adam learned about all the animals. He played with them and gave them each names. But something was missing from Adam's life. You would think he had it all, but he was missing a human friend, a wife. God made a woman, too. He put Adam to sleep, carefully took one of Adam's ribs, and formed a woman. Now there were two. They were made for each other, to love each other, to keep each other company, and to enjoy this beautiful world and worship God. Life in the garden was beautiful and blissful. It was, quite truly, paradise. Adam and Eve had no worries. God had created them. He took care of them. The animals were peaceful and kind. Adam and Eve had all the food they wanted. They saw beauty wherever they turned. They only had one rule to obey. Don't eat from the tree that stood in the middle of the Garden of Eden. That was God's only request. On the sixth day of creation, God looked at everything he had made and said it was good. On the seventh day of creation, God rested from all his work. Creation was beautiful, and man was in perfect harmony with God. Amen. Wasn't that a really great story? I enjoyed it. I hope that you did too. It's amazing to think about how that God created everything just by speaking. He spoke the words and everything came into existence. That's an amazing amount of power. And it's just so wonderful that we get to serve and we get to talk to a God with that much power. Um, the one and only true God. And we just are so thankful for that. It's amazing. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for each one of the boys and girls uh, and family, Lord, that were able to join King's Kids tonight and uh, learn from the story. Lord, I pray that you help each and every kid, um, each family, to sleep well tonight, Lord. I pray, Father, that you help us to remember how wonderful and amazing and mighty and powerful you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Remember, 1 Peter 2.9, you are a king's kid. Have a good night, and we'll see you on Sunday.